And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Metropolitan Museum stage, Miss Jane Monheit.
Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it is so great to be here. You know, I'm a, a born and raised New Yorker. And uh, well, thank you. We all deserve some applause for that, don't you think? We do, we do like that about ourselves, don't we? We all do. But you know, so I've spent an awful lot of time here at the museum since I was a little kid. And now I have my own little kid, and we come here all the time on school trips. I'm a homeschooler, so we come here a lot to learn about all different kinds of things, you know. And I've always wondered what was behind those doors. I walk past it constantly because my son really loves the Egyptian wing an awful lot. So do I, because of course we all do. It's amazing, <laughs> you know. And I've always wondered what was, what was behind and what was in here. I've never seen a show in here before. And I thought, oh, maybe it's just a little recital room or something. Lo and behold, this gigantic, what is it, a 700 seat theater in here. I had no idea. It's such an interesting and, and really super cool thing to be here tonight. So we're really glad. And I'm amazed that it's happening at all because I play so much here in New York. I'm, I'm really happy for the opportunity. You know, I'm at the Blue Note every five seconds. I'm at Birdland every five seconds. I'm at the Carlisle every five seconds. I'm everywhere. So it's so nice to get an opportunity to come in here and do this. Thank you. We have all kinds of friends and family here tonight, so that's really nice as well. And um, although I got to say, the greatest friends and family in the world are right here on stage with me. These are my brothers, you know. Well, e except for you, because that'd be weird. Been married for almost 12 years, I, so this <laughs> that would be a little strange. But let me properly introduce you to everyone. On the piano, Michael Kanan. <laughs> On the bass, Neil Miner. And on the drums, Ricky Montalbano. So even though it's the day after Valentine's Day, we were booked as a Valentine's show. So I've got a, uh, about 70 minutes worth of love songs for you. But I would have had that anyway, frankly. I mean, that's really not any different than what we normally do. But what I did do was I took some of my favorite ones from albums past and put them in a couple that we haven't done in a while. So that's, that's nice to do for us especially. But this one that we're about to play is from, from our new album. And this is sort of an interesting tune. These lyrics are actually by Mel Torme. I've loved this since I was a little kid. This arrangement is by Neil Miner. It's called Born to be Blue. were meant to live in clover but they are such a 
chosen few And the clover being green Is something I've never seen Cause I was born to be blue Moonbeams being cold are something I can't behold. Cause I was born to be blue. When I met you, the world was bright and sunny. When you left, the curtain fell. I'd like to laugh, but nothing strikes me funny. Folks, I've no the thrill of loving you, and that alone is more than what I was created for. Cause I was born to be blue. Yeah. like to laugh, but nothing strikes me funny, now my words are faded past it, when you, I guess I'm luckier than some folks, I've known the thrill of loving you, and that alone is more, and what I was created for, cause I was born to be blue. I was born Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, this next tune, oh, I almost said a bad word. Those of you who know me know that that is something that does occur, but never on stage. And I know some of you have, oh, I don't need this for a few minutes. We can get it out of the way. Thank you, honey. How does a singer change a light bulb? She has her piano player do it for her. This is true. Michael Kanan, ladies and gentlemen, he's multi-talented. I do affectionately refer to this man as my binky. So there is that. Um, this is an arrangement of Neil's, another one. I, I love Neely's charts at the beginning of the show. There's something about it. They're just perfect at the top of the show. And this is one from our album, Home. Beautiful love song. And actually, this and the next tune we're about to play, both from the album, Home, were both used in the weddings of people that we know so that's beautiful to me I live for this you know I mean why do this if I'm not going to be touching people somehow being part of their lives and what better way than to be in someone's wedding you know so <laughs> so this and the next i 
is not a dream that ended with a dawn. It's one that fate intended to go on. And this isn't sometimes, this is always. This isn't maybe, this is always. This is love, the real beginning of forever. This isn't just midsummer madness, a passing long, a moment's gladness. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sign of people who needs 
Let's leave all work again. Let's sleep a bell. Say it's good night to sleep well. We'll thank the small hotel together. Thank you. Thank you very much. I can just have him right here, honey. It's okay. This next piece is um, going to feature Michael Caine. Now, we play a lot of duets together, an awful lot, and we really love it a whole lot. You know, we, we play a lot of duo shows. Actually, we were just in Cleveland for a couple of days. We played two nights duo there, and it was like the greatest thing ever. And we came up with this little medley while we were there. We were trying out all kinds of things on the crowd. We were in a very small sort of laid back space, a club called Night Town in Cleveland, you know. And so we had all this freedom to, to be very unstructured and informal there. So we were throwing all kinds of things at the crowd and coming up with weird medley ideas, and I'm reading lyrics off my iPhone and everything else. It was so much fun. You know, it was the greatest. And we came up with this, and these songs have just virtually nothing to do with each other at all, except that they're both beautiful love songs, and they go so nicely together, and so. Our new medley. Oh, and this is, this is from Michael to Sophia. A very, very special person who's here tonight.
thrills and delights me. It's just the nearness of you It's not your sweet conversation That brings the sensation It's just the nearness of you when you're in my arms and I feel you so close to me. Michael Caine, and ah, uh, that was so beautiful. I shouldn't even sing in that piece. It should just be you. No. Well, these next two are from an upcoming project that we're thinking about. I could use the stand for this one. Um, now, my very, very first idol in this world, and still someone that I, I worship and, and learn from every day, is Judy Garland. Nothing? <laughs> now, I mean, not only is she one of the greatest voices of all time, but one of the greatest singers of lyrics. You know, there's so much going on there. And so we're, we're putting together this tribute project to Judy, but it's not what you think. It's not Judy. Like, we're not doing that drama. That would be way too typical, you know. We don't need another one of those. We're gonna celebrate the jazz side of Judy Garland because she was the swingingest and filled with so much joy when she sang and brought so much happiness to people. You know, there's so much of that there to be remembered and celebrated as well. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, this, this tune we're about to play actually inspired the entire thing. Uh, this is a tune by Richard Rogers and, and he wrote the lyrics as well, which is unusual for all you great American songbook nerds like me. And she recorded this with Basie for her television show in the 60s. And uh, it, it's on YouTube. It's so, so killing. It's so amazing. So don't watch it. Definitely don't. Um, because you won't like mine as much. <laughs> this arrangement is by Michael Caine. Sweet 
the sounds I'll ever hear are still inside my head. The kindest words I'll ever know are waiting to be said. The most entrancing sight of all is yet for me to see. And the dearest love in all the world is waiting somewhere for me. Is waiting somewhere, somewhere for me. Ling dun dun play that it little do 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 baby, boo baby, ling da do do baby. The sweetest sounds I'll ever hear are still inside my head. The kindest words I'll ever know are waiting to be said. The most entrancing sight of all is yet for me to see. And the dearest love in all is waiting somewhere for me is waiting somewhere somewhere for me Ricky Montalbano, Neil Minor yeah, guys. Thank you. <laughs> well, these next two songs are are something that we debuted last summer at 54 Below. Michael and I did a duo show there. And th these will also be part of the Judy tribute, although I think this is going to be fleshed out a little bit with some more material. Uh, and okay, this, this really isn't jazz at all. It kind of is a little, but I just want to sing these. And it's well, it's a Valentine's show, and they're, they're absolutely love songs, you know. Judy was wonderful at singing love songs. Pretty much everyone is, because it's something we all understand. Something we've all lived in our own way, you know. We can all sing a love song. So anyway, she, she recorded these two about around five years apart or so. The first one, I think she was around 27, but I'm not positive. Um, easy enough to Google, but I just haven't remembered to. And the second I know she did when she was 32. But there was a big difference there for her, and a very big difference between the two songs. Oh, I love them both. And they're perfect together, so I can't imagine that this hasn't been done. I'm sure it's been done by someone, but I, I don't care. I don't. I want to do it, and so I will. <laughs> That's called being 36, people. The moment I saw him smile, I knew he was just my style. My only regret is we've never met, though I dream of him all the while. 
But he doesn't know I exist No matter how I may persist So it's clear to see There's no hope for me How oh, I live at 5135 Kensington Avenue Everyone always giggles at that. I don't know why. And he lives at 5133. How could I ignore the boy next door? I love him more than I can say. Doesn't try to please me. Doesn't even tease me, and he never sees me glance his way. And though I'm heart sore, the boy next door, affection for me won't display. I just adore him. So I can't ignore him, the boy next The stars have lost their glitter. <laughs> the winds grow colder and suddenly older. And all because of the man that got away. No more his eager call. It's all a crazy game No more at all time thrill For you've been through the mill And never a new love Will ever be the same
live long night and day much thank you yeah I enjoy doing that okay well this next tune is sort of a special one this is from my very first album and I don't do this tune very often but two of my very 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 good friends are here tonight and uh, this is another special Valentine's Day dedication I love getting to do this this is for Take me with you. Oh. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, this one has just been one of our favorites lately. I'm on sort of a Berlin kick, an Irving Berlin kick, you know. Like, why wouldn't I be? It's perfection, you know. And this is, this is one of my favorites of his. And we recorded this as a duet on our album Home, but lately we've been playing it with the whole band, and it's just been like the greatest thing ever. The weather is frightening, the thunder and lightning seem to be having their way. But as far as I'm concerned, it's a lovely day. The change in the weather will keep us together, so I can honestly say that as far as I'm concerned, it's a lovely day. And everything's okay. Isn't this a lovely day to be caught in the rain? You were headed on your way, now you've got to remain. Just as you were going, leaving me all at sea. can see the sun up high, though we're caught in a storm. Da, 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 da. I can see where you and I could be cozy and warm. Let the rain pitter pitter, cause it really doesn't matter. If the skies are gray, long as I can be with you. It's a lovely day, day, shitty, day, Oh, 
as I can be with you. It's a lovely day. Thank you, <laughs> Michael Kanan. Thank you very much. <laughs> I just love that one. So this next tune is something that I've never uh, officially recorded, but I did this on a television show called Legends of Jazz with John Fitzrelli. Oh, you know, you love him. And uh, we actually just did a couple nights at the Blue Note about a month ago. And we played this tune, and it was so much fun. We have a YouTube video of this that's had, like, a lot of hits for jazz musicians. <laughs> no, really, it's, like, still, like, under 100,000. But that's, it's, like, a lot for people. Like, a, I'm, you know, it's jazz, people. We, we take what we can get. What? It's three what? Oh, it's 300,000 about. Okay, so never mind. That's a lot. So about like 299,000 of them were for John and I had the rest. <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably about that. But that's some Gershwin. It's a great tune. Everybody loves this tune. You know you have the right tempo when you go like this. him.
from Pura to land. Still I always, always keep the memory of the way you hold your night. our big sort of 11 o'clock ballad moment right now, you know. And when you're doing a Valentine's show, you better pick a good one. You really better. This is one of my favorites. You know, I always end up with Lorenz Hart lyrics. You know, when you pick a good love song, there's, there's just so much there with Hart lyrics. There's so much sadness or, or bitterness or humor or it's so much more than just a love song with him, always, you know. And this is, of course, one of his very famous ones. And he wrote a, a huge, massive amount of lyrics to the song. I'm just gonna sing a little bit of them, but eventually I'll get the rest in there. But I'm sure all the other singers aren't doing it. <laughs> He's a fool. And don't I know it, but a fool can have his charms, I'm in love, and don't I show it like a babe. This half pint invitation put me on the blink. I'm wild again, beguiled again, a simpering, a whimpering child.
Thank you. Neil Miner. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, we're going to play one more. But I want. <laughs> I want to thank you so much for coming out tonight, and I want to thank everyone here at the museum for having us. It's a real honor to sing in here, you know. It, it really is. This is a big deal for me, so thank you. And uh, most of all, of course, my family. Michael Kanan. <laughs> Neil Miner. Ricky Montabano. And as always, making it all happen for us in the back, doing sound for us and taking care of us in every way possible, Jim Corona. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get a trifle, a trifle lame for just a moment, maybe. Okay, so it's a Valentine's Day show and it's all love songs and all that, but this song is really more about loving yourself which is important. I'm a mother, so I teach this all day, you know? And it just so happens that this is a song I know from when I was a little tiny thing. This was a very big Sesame Street moment when I was a little tiny thing in the early 80s. Stay with me. Because I am telling you, this is such a great song. Joe Raposo. Now this was Lena Horne, people. Just being everything with the Muppets, of course. Don't you think if I were a Muppet, I'd be Miss Piggy? <laughs> All I need are the lavender gloves. It's perfect, right? It's perfect. Don't think she's not my idol. Can I have a note just in case? Thank you. That makes you Kermit. Sing, sing a song, sing out loud, sing out strong, sing of good things, not bad, sing of happy, not sad, sing, sing a song. Make it simple to last your whole life long. Don't worry that it's not good enough for anyone else to hear. Just sing, sing a song. Oh, no, 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 no,
Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, well, we had one more. <laughs> this will be the last time we do this one until next year. So, I hope you like it. Another incredible lyric by Lorenz Hart. Valentine, 
Michael Caine and Neil Miner, Ricky Montalbano. Thank you so much, everybody. And we'll see you around. Good night. <laughs>